point in. So, yeah, I just pop the EverDrive in so we can play. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, got all my games on here. Yeah, are they in any order? No. Yeah, there, there it is. Trip World. Now you can see where Power got its inspiration from. Oh no, stand up, sorry, neck taken there. There we go. So, first of all, listen to this insane, insane music. I'll just change the title of that to say Trip World as well. How good is this music? It's amazing. Game Boy. And this music as well. This is honestly a 10 out of 10 soundtrack. Are you ready? Shall I put it in black and white? Everything about this is so good. Okay, go. I'm gonna turn it off a bit because this is unbelievable that this can come out of the game boy. I'll change the control around it. Listening to this on the original system as well is amazing. Listen to this bit. Oh no! I'm putting the spikes. So, the weird thing about this, most of the enemies are actually friendly. And you can just, like, give them things. You can also transform as well if you, uh, if you do a certain button combination. You can, you can kill them. If you need to. Oh yeah, did you guys see that gimmick's getting a re-release? Soon. Yeah, sometimes the, uh... Sometimes the screen... Um... What do you call it? The screen player. Was actually used to its advantage. I can't remember how, but you can turn into a fish somehow. That's not how. There we go, now you can turn into a fish. I don't really get the point of those music notes floating around, because they don't do anything. Yeah, there's some there's some games on the Game Boy, like um, Zass, Chum Chumbio Zass, I think it's called, something like that. Oh no, the jump button wasn't working properly then. Oh, that's my excuse. If you jump at the right time as well, you can literally build up momentum there, which is... Let's see if we can do that instead. That's easier. Why well, does he want to attack me? There we go, got our life back. But yeah, the way the um, the slopes work, and the way that if you let go, you actually slide back down. That's actually really uncommon for the Game Boy, and you can build up a bit of extra speed as well. So you're trying to tell me to fly. This is just such an impressive game. The, the boss fights are really difficult and the levels are kind of weird because the enemies don't hurt you unless you hurt them. The music, the graphics, everything about this is just top notch. Oh, 
I got it for the Famicom, but I didn't really get very far in it. Yet. Maybe I could do a Famicom stream at some point. Oh yeah, there we got the weird bouncing ball. <laughs> weird dancing guy there as well. I still don't really understand this game. It seems more like a tech demo than an actual game. Just like a lot of random elements all thrown together with an insane soundtrack. You didn't give me anything. I'd love to own the official, like, physical version one day, but... Got it. That's it, that's how you get a better attack. Oh no! No! What happens if you get it twice? No, you can't. You can only get it once. So that replaces your ability to fly in. It's like a gyroid from Animal Crossing. A really angry gyroid. And that Mega Man pew 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 Mega Man explosion noise. You can just leave that giant cat. I don't know what, he, what he's doing. Really. He just really wants to say hi. Look at him. Hello. Where are you going? He doesn't even hurt you if you try and attack him. He's just desperate to, to say hi. Oh, I didn't know you could bring him in here. You have to some lasagna. Come on. Ah, oh, no way. Maybe I can actually bring him up here. Come on. No, he couldn't get up there. See what I mean? Just random things for the sake of it. And I can actually just leave that guy and he just went and attack me. I've never really played a game before that actively encourages you not to attack. There was another passage right there, on the right. Don't think that'll do anything. There's a load of mini little guys with flowers in their heads. Again, I don't think they have any actual purpose for being there. And the whole time you had that power up was completely useless. And then we have to do the fight later. Okay. Uh, is he gonna stop? Man, this music is insane. Ah! Wait up here. Yeah, the bosses are great. The, the um, graphics are on too. Fantastic. Yeah, I got him. Well, three. Ah, oh, this music as well. Love this. Love this soundtrack. So iconic. Right, let's turn back into the fish. Oh, you do have an attack as a fish. So, you can see the way the sprites are flickering now. This is what Starlight was saying about the ink display. Or, it was a dot matrix display for the Game Boy, but same kind of thing. So the way they're actually flickering now, on the Game Boy, you wouldn't see that. You'd just see them as slightly transparent. What a soundtrack. If there's one game that deserves 10 out of 10, it's this and Castlevania 2 on the Game Boy. Both of them have 10 out of 10 soundtracks. I'm 
we've got another power up. Again, probably best not to attack anything. Except when you uh, lose your ability to swim. I don't know if you'll get anything for killing this. It must even do anything. Maybe not. useless. Let's try going up this head. Whoa, okay, that's weird. And they can hurt you. Okay. It's been a long time since I played this, so I can't really remember things very well. But just look at this background art. Okay, boss fight time. Oh, maybe this is just a mini boss, it doesn't have any particular boss fight music. Oh man. Clam Man! If he was in Mega Man, he'd be called Clam Man. Oh no! I don't know whether I was hurting him from behind there. It's difficult without the tail, you've only got this really tiny little kick attack. Try and stay on the side. Oh man, he fires them too fast. Kicking too soon. Damn. That's it. It's quite a difficult game when you get to the bosses. Um, yeah. So that's Trip World. I don't know whether there's anything else to it, really. Whoa, that one's crazy. I like this. I like grey colour. I'm not sure if there's any point in giving all the animals these flowers on this level either. I might do something later on. It feels like it's something you should do. But yeah, you can see that Power kind of got inspiration from Trip World. Yeah, you can give the, the hedgehogs the flowers. You can fly over it as well if you use it. Oh no! I spoke too soon. I bet there's a speed run where you can use the flying thing. But it seems to stop after a while. So it is a very simple game, but I think it has some hidden depth to it. But I always just put it on as a kind of tech demo to show what the Game Boy is capable of. Yeah, yeah, I did that a lot better this time. Get down there. Just push him out of the way. See if we can ignore these flowers this time as well. Yeah! Perfect. That one hurts. Oh, maybe there is no power up for the stage. Or maybe it's because I didn't um, put flowers on all the enemies.
Even that sounds like Mega Man. Yeah, probably. They just wanted to have a bit of fun or something. And also, that's probably why it's crazy expensive, because it wasn't a license, so uh, there wasn't many copies made of it. And they just really went crazy on programming like the best game there was. Like, the fact that it looks this good and it runs at 60 frames a second as well. It's just insane. Oh, I'm stuck. There's that happy lasagna guy. Let's see if we can carry this power up on the, all the way to the end this time. Definitely doing a lot better than the first attempt. Alrighty. I wonder where that takes you. Ah, oh, I could have tried going over there. Never mind. I don't really fancy going back through the first level again. I'm worried about touching the cartridge because it's right next to where my hands are. That's fine, number two. No, you lose it before then. I'm not sure if you can just stay up here. Wait for it to go. Wait for it to transform back. I think you need to actually wait. Yeah, treasure was great for that. Like, do one McDonald's game and then they're free to make whatever they want. I, I read an interview recently about Gunstar Heroes, and apparently Sega of America tried to sabotage it so that it didn't sell or something. Well, they didn't give it any marketing budget or anything. Because they didn't like that it was quirky and Japanese. More like, it wasn't a license, so they couldn't be a short bet on making profit from it. That really sucks. I've never actually played that McDonald's game. Is it any good? I presume it is, because it's treasure. I've only played the other McDonald's game for Mega Drive. What's it called? The weird, like, slime one. It's like Dynamite Heady. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, World 3 again. Get to listen to this incredible music. Yeah, Global Gladiators. Such a weird game. It's so fluid though, I, I do really like Global Gladiators, I liked it a lot back in the day. But I couldn't really get very far in it, but I just love running around and shooting that gun. Which I think is like Burger Grease. At least that's what I thought as a kid. Okay, we got the tail, so let's try and carry on going up here straight away. Oh yeah, you have to watch out for them. They hurt. Twice! Oh no. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Oh no! Okay, I nearly got him. Let's see if we can get back there. See if we can go back and get the power up again. I wonder if you can actually take these out or not. Maybe not. Just go past when they've stopped doing their transformation thing. Right, let's hope it's still there. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So at least if I go back now, we've got one more bit of health. Uh, stop. Okay, just walk off. That'll do. Okay, ready again? Three. Ready 
able to do this. Oh no, I've lost the tail. Oh, he's lost his shell. Huh. Yeah, he got him. Ah, that was a fun fight. I didn't know I could kick his shell off. Whoa, where am I going now? Okay, hello. Please don't hurt me, I didn't mean to attack you, I thought you were a power-up. That was the end of the level. It's not there. Right, I wonder if there's a path at the bottom as well. I'm too scared to find out though. I've only got one bit of health left. I love the sense of exploration in this game as well. Okay, we've got the flower back. Here you Have the flower. Oh no! I just sent him to his death because he was so happy about having the flower. Not able to run here. Okay, you give them the flowers to stop them pushing you back. This is so windy. Come on, this is a bit long. Oh no! Okay, we made it. Wow, okay, that's the boss. Instant death. I don't know what to expect with that boss. Let's see if he can go down. Ooh, yeah. Well, I don't need it though, but there was a heart right there. I wonder if I can fly. Okay. Let's try it. No. I'm just getting pushed back. So the only way you can do this is to get the flowers and stop them from pushing you back. Look at that physics, even throwing the seed. Flies with the wind. How good is that? You would never see anything like that in the Game Boy. Such an impressive game. But... I mean, it's a very simple game, but it is very impressive. It's like a Mega Man boss. Yeah, yeah, I did it. World 4. Are we on a cake? Yeah, we're on a cake. We've got the bouncing ball again. I don't know why, but this music sounds like something that would be on the Virtual Boy. Weird level though, there's not really anything to do. Again, I think they're just showing off all the different enemy types and stuff. Okay, there was a power up there which we might need to remember about. Right? something right there. Is that the tail power up? Are you a boss? Yes you are. Let me in. Or is this a boss that can't hurt me? Just watch out for a little cake bean thrown at you I guess that doesn't hurt. So strange. I wonder what the reviews for this were like at the time, because it's not really a, a typical game as such. Like, it doesn't really play like any other platformer. Oh, 
Like, apart from the boss fights. Oh. Oh, yeah. Trip bell makes sense. What's the point of giving the bosses flowers? That doesn't do anything. It's only the boss fights that actually play like a, like a regular game. And they're really good. They are kind of at odds with the rest of the game in a weird way. Okay. Is that level 4 complaint? It's definitely a trip. I don't know how many worlds there are either. Gotta get some relaxing music. And I don't know what that just was. Of a flower. Maybe it counts up all the flowers that you've given at the end of the game or something. So I just hit that butterfly at the way. Can you ever find That's a weird looking thing. You can step on the butterflies, but they don't do anything. I'm gonna bounce the ball again. 22 out of 40. That's quite low. I thought we'd get more than that. Can you see what they said about the game? Has it been translated? That's something I've been looking for, actually. Do you know if there's actually any translated Famitsu magazine scans? I would love to read through some old Famitsu magazines. I might make an interesting video as well. Hmm, I like that animation. I think there's a boss coming up, because I grabbed the tail. That was weirdly easy. Are you gonna stop me? I love how each level is like completely different in the theme. One minute you're jumping on the cake, now we're in like a robot factory. Oh, I can just walk through him. Have a feather. Yeah, I'd be curious to see uh, what Fumitsu did and didn't like about it. That probably also explains why it didn't sell that well back in the day. Oh, don't hit me. That's definitely a Mega Man kind of enemy. It's weird that you can't tell what's going to hurt you and what isn't. I guess I should have known. Something with knives is dangerous. Favorite? I can push it out of the way. That works. Oh no, go away. As long as the thing with knives doesn't come after me, I can take them all away. Am I actually causing damage? Yeah. There you go. Freedom out. Oh no, the Emperor is actually two guinea pigs. Okay, this is... yeah, this... I was going to say that's dangerous. Right, game over. I think I'll leave it there then. So thank you all so much for coming along. No shadow. Yeah, why live? I may as well just end this stream right now. German Mag gave it a 9 out of 12. 12 is a weird rating system. But anyway, thank you. That was another fun two and a half hours of retro games for the Game Boy. Unfortunately, like I said, I haven't got this stuff working at the back today. So I'll try and get that fixed for next time. And yeah, I'll see you next stream for... Shadow? The Hedgehog? Maybe? I might play this one off stream. So yeah, it'll be a Sonic stream next time. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday. Depends where whether I can edit 
some of this homebrew video in time for Friday or not. So anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me through this stream. And I'll see you all for either Sonic 06 or Shadow the Hedgehog on Thursday. Let's say that. We can uh, we can toss a coin. Actually, have I got a have I got a coin? Of course I haven't got a coin. I have an NQ64 token, we can do that. So So Um Okay, Tails is Sonic 06, because Tails is in Sonic 06. And Tails for this will be the arcade machine. So if it lands arcade machine side up, then we're playing Sonic 06. Yes! There you go. We're playing Sonic 06 on Thursday. It's official. See you then.